Hi, I'm Alyssa London. And I'm Yvette Fielder. And we are your Res TV hosts. Welcome to Res 2022. It's Monday and it's Entrepreneurship Day. This year's Res, we have a lot of really great speakers and of course, all the networking that's gonna be going on, the business matchmaking. I think this is going to be our largest economic development event yet. Make connections, take business cards. We are here to grow our economies in any country. It's always good to see everybody out there networking Native American style. That's how I feel about it. Connect with people. Do you care about your businesses? Do you care about Native entrepreneurship? Then let's show them. We just heard from DJ Vanis and James Anderson at the general session. It was amazing. The energy in the general session was wonderful to see. It was so motivating and so awesome to see all the work that tribes are doing. Up next, we're going to go over to the SBA session. We're going to hear from John Chiraca going over federal contracting and government procurement. Enjoy those breakout sessions, and then you can check out the artists in market. It's really amazing that this event brings out so many incredible Native artisans from around Indian country. We're a completely community-led based company, Nest Purse Tourism. Bison Star Naturals. We're a body care company out of Taos Pueblo in northern New Mexico. We've really just been taking off since last year, and a lot of it is because of the leadership and guidance from Preservation Economic Summit. It is a good day to be alive. It's inspiring to see how many industries and tribes are represented just on this trade show floor. We have professional services. We're really big into fiber, renewable energy. We're really big on intertribal trade. We need to come out of our poverty into prosperity, and I think we could do great things working together. It's been a productive first day at the Reservation Economic Summit. I recommend everybody to tune in um, channel 109 for Res TV. The truth is we don't learn a lot when things are going well, but we can learn an awful lot when things go sideways. Don't go it alone. What do you gotta do? Yes, this is business. Do we wanna have boring, lame meetings coming up or do we want happy, healthy, and terrific meetings? Yeah, here we go, clap your hands. Educate people, tell them about, tell them how great it is. Tell them what your companies do in our communities. I really believe that we can be the change.